Hey everybody, Omega Golden Plays Civilization VI Gathering Storm continues with our Pachacuti of Inca playthrough where we are currently just decimating the Zulu forces. Our battleship doesn't have any place to go up here. He really doesn't have any place to go in there either, so I think, I think our battleship and his friend over here will probably just head east and then see if they can join us once we start another conflict elsewhere. Right now, there's not a lot of use for what they're offering. Because we control most of the area. And definitely all of the area around the battlefield that they have access to. Now there's always the opportunity for canals potentially, like uh... Like, there's a potential for a, a Panama Canal if one hasn't already been built. It hasn't been built. Could we get a Panama Canal in here? We obviously can't right now because we don't own the city that I'm talking about, but... You get my drift, I think. Also, the I realize these battleships are the things that are probably attacking my... Artillery right now. Causing them a little bit of a... Uh, Heartache. The jerks. Alright, so we need to bring these walls down. I think we can only attack with the one bomber. But he's also... This area, because of the battleships, is risky for him, I think. So perhaps... Let's have him heal. We'll get our other guys to continue doing damage elsewhere. Where they can safely get in there, earn some experience, break some walls down, Jericho style. We have two envoys. What what can we do with two envoys? Whole lot of nada, right? Yeah. Yup. Whole lot of nothing can be done right now with these uh, available envoys. It's a crying shame. All right, let's see if we can shoot this uh, this boat away. Because I'm not happy with these boats causing us problems. Oh, dude, you can do a little hit and run. A little bing, bang, boom from our walking runners. Bob's your uncle and they're gone. They're out of here. That does make this uh, slightly safer to look at attacking in the future again. Let's see. We can take the city like... Like we could b the last turn, but we're still, we're on a quest for, uh, for both of these cities being takeable on the same turn, I think. That's what I'm feeling right now. I don't know if it's necessary 100%, but I know that I, I want to do it that way. That's how I want to accomplish this one at this, uh, the present moment. You know, in the future, maybe things will be different. Alright, let's give him disguise. And then we'll see if he wants to go check somewhere else where he can maybe steal some cash money with us. Or for us. You would dare to send battleships after one of my favorite cities? What can we do about such a a bold action? I'm gonna buy a Spec Ops. Because I respect Spec Ops. I know that he won't have the plus 20 strength, but he, in the safety of the city walls, if he can sh uh, shoot at chips for target practice, he might make it to rank three. And then if he can make if it to rank three, dive slowly. he can make it anywhere. That's the truth of the matter. If you can make it to rank 3, you're unstoppable. We could always take resource management, but I think our resources are being managed just fine right now. That's it. That's a potential for the future, but right now we're still uh, strictly positive in those values, so I'm not I'm not concerned. 
I'm not nervous about it one bit. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's get him shooting at some ships over here to help out. Oh, come on! You have, like, one hit point. How dare you? The, the complete disrespect... It's palpable. Alright, you guys take shots. Take your shots and leave. You? Oh, it's, it, it is rocket artillery time. We have enough to upgrade one boy. Right now. I, I'm not gonna take the cheaper thing. I know we had the opportunity... We had the opportunity for cheaper policies, and even even if I hadn't locked it in without it, I stand by the decision that we're just gonna we're just gonna man up and pay full cost. Cause that's that's the type of army we have. One that can pay its costs and pay its way. We have a big boy army, backed by the best economy in the world. So don't you forget about it. You know what? I think a bombing run. Did you get hurt? He got hurt a little bit. Got him. Okay, we'll get you next turn. Actually, where's our other... He can't get in here yet. We didn't build any mountain tunnels or anything like that. We're slacking out here. A mountain tunnel would do us wonders. Loyalty is just fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, so what about a Panama Canal? Not not here, this is foolish, but a Panama Canal here to bridge the gap? I do think that can be arranged and should be arranged and is being arranged. Jet Bomber, you get a level. Let me, let me give you evasive maneuvers. We know evasive maneuvers pays off. You also need evasive maneuvers. The box formation is for suckers. Evasive formation... Uh, maneuvers is where it's at. Go ahead and... Just pillage. We're gonna cause some trouble out here. Oh, he's here! If you go on with this nuclear <laughs> arms race... <laughs> That was a big boost to science. Where are we at on the, the charts for science? We're four turns away from robotics, my friends. Ah! Oh, she's back again. She had to uh, let me know she's upset by just screaming as she opened the door. It's effective for, for letting somebody know you're upset, but it's really not the preferable way of doing it. We need 12 more error score in 8 turns. That that seems like something we can probably accomplish. Are we making... We're 31 point turns away from a Golden Gate Bridge, so that, that's kind of out of the... the range of possibilities right now. I was hoping that there was going to be an engineer available, such as one... Um, Gustav Eiffel, perhaps? Perhaps one Gustav Eiffel could have been around and could have helped us tremendously. The fact that he wasn't there, it's not his fault. I don't blame it on him. Sometimes the game's just cruel like that. We got a four point commercial hub over here. Alright, I'll take a four point commercial hub. 
I'll go in on that. I'll go in on that all day. Okay. You're gonna go to a slightly different city and look at stealing money. It's not the same city at all. But it is in the same country. You're out there getting ready to put in good work. Uh, I want to take some of these. You have a lot of ships, and I don't, I don't respect your ships. I, I, I primarily don't respect them because they keep damaging my units. So I'm gonna continue to try to headhunt these bad boys. Because they deserve to be removed. What are you trying over here? I'm about to level up, so I'm gonna just stand here and absorb the blow. So you guys, let's clear a path. Path is cleared. And we've taken what we've earned. Oh yeah, machine gun army over here representing. All right, you guys, you guys should get up here and really hook us up with uh, some support. Get rid of that. Got him. I don't want you to move forward just yet, but there is a trader walking this way that I would like to destroy if given the opportunity. Flood barrier. Defenses. Yes, all of these are important. This great general doesn't do anything for a lot of our troops. You have to keep that in mind. When you're, when you're making your decisions, keep that in mind. Rocket artillery, let's start firing upon the capital. Oh, look at the walls just start to crumble. I hit my keyboard. <laughs> I got a little too excited. Uh, Spec Ops, this man has to go. You got him? Good work, my dudes. Looking beautiful out here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get these 12 air score. We capture a capital that's actually like half of it. So... We are going to capture this. If we can wipe out the Zulu, that's another like almost half of it. So if we can capture the capital and wipe out the Zulu, that's like 10 points out of the 12 we need. Dude, we got another payday! And another payday means that it's time for you boys to experience life uh, as I always knew you could and as I always knew you should. Both of these things are 100% factual. Alright, we're gonna have you eliminate that man. Because he's firing on my rocket artillery, I think. And we can't have that happen, that's just... Untoward is the best way to explain it. It's just untoward. Dude, I love... I love the thundering boys. I love the walking runners. They're so good. They're out there... Day in and day out. Getting the job done. Like no one else can. Do we deserve nuclear power? Yes. We deserve nuclear power. You don't... Sydney doesn't deserve nuclear power, though. They were they were placed over here by a, an arrogant John Curtin. And while we love that they have joined us, we will not forget that they did not start 
under the true Incan Empire. That doesn't mean they're not welcome in the Incan Empire. It just means uh, we treat them as second-class citizens. Sorry. That's just how it works. I don't think uh, anyone should have a problem with that. Except for maybe the Australians, perhaps. All right, you are hurt. You're also hurt. I don't want my bombers to get killed. They're expensive units, so I'm going to give them a rest, even though I could have them, like, go hunting for battleships. That's going to be the scout. That's going to be the spec ops mission is to kill these battleships. I'm proud of my spec ops. If I haven't made that entirely clear. Very proud of them. Alright, I could move him into range to shoot this, but then he'd be out in the open, so I'm just going to take a, a shot at this man instead. And we defeated him either way. Continue to steal, dude. Continue to lie, cheat, and steal. Give me the all the... Ill-gotten gains. And we will celebrate together. So I think we're going to get this Golden Age. Because I'm confident in our ability to destroy the Zulu. Maybe overconfident, I don't know. But I think we can handle him. In, in a quick period of time as well because handling them is different than what we need to do which is uh, completely eradicating them right, good work let's take a step back all right he's at full strength he's gonna help us here he didn't take any damage. Beautiful. Okay, we, we should get our rocket artillery hitting multiple targets. Because we do. We need to capture, like, we need to capture all the cities. So let's get this rocket artillery helping us with, uh, with this one. We got it. We got this thing under control. I think we can do it fast enough. I believe in the squad. They haven't let me down before. I don't think they're going to let me down now. Why Why would you... Let's, let's buy them a trader if we're going to give them a chance. Let's start by buying a trader for them. You will repair your aerodrome. Right, let's get uh, the bank going. Your housing situation could be better. You don't have room for an aqueduct. So, I guess a military academy kind of helps, and, and then we can follow it up with a sewer. Alright, well, you guys can just chill here. I don't need you to be taking an action every turn. We'll just have you... Live it up here. Let me go ahead and repair. What is happening to resources along the way? Were these just things? These are probably just things I broke in the past and, and haven't taken the time to repair. Which is, uh. That's all on me. When God said, let there be only the mob. Lays oh, plus uh, we moved to our tier three government. That's gonna give us even more arrow score. Our gold has gone down by a, a, a little above a hundred, it looks like. But that that's because our policies right now are not in place. Or that's one of the reasons, at least. Give me third alternative. Give me resource management. Oh, actually, give me 
We don't need force modernization. Native conquest, maybe. No, no, no. No. Let me take levy and mass. Is there anything from here that we need? Rationalism would be nice to have back in the, on the, the charts here. So, you know what? Let's move this in place of uh, resource management. Let's pick up rationalism to get more... S get my science per turn. No, way. we want gold more than science. Let's do colonial taxes and see what life is like. Up to 548 per turn. Now that's something I can live with. I think that's a, it's an agreeable number for me. Okay, what are we looking for from the remainder of the charts? Envoys are obviously useful. Making trade routes better. Making trade routes better. I'll click on those for now. That's that's the path. Alright, flood barrier. Everything's gonna flood in this world is what we're learning. So you gotta put up flood barriers. Very important. And the bomba, I think you're in trouble. No, 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 bomba. We got you. Oh, we got you too. We got the capital. We only need three more era score to lock in yet another golden age. We can do this. Put your back into it. Take a little sniper shot, walk away. You should get a factory. Seems reasonable and responsible. Edinburgh. You still have a musketman. We could turn to infantry, but we wanted to save the oil. Although oil is now not really a concern, let's go ahead and get you back in the thick of things as an infantry. I think you deserve that. Start b building a research lab because I've uh, lost my mind. Nabamba, you need outer defenses as well. You gotta start with the flood barriers though. You have to. You loondy. Flood barriers. Actually, let's do this monument repair real quick. And this granary repair. And this water mill. And then you can do your flood barriers. And then we can fix your walls at the end of that. That's how we're gonna do it. For some reason. Because I said so. You have a distinct lack of, uh, of terrace farms. It's noticeable. And it makes me question your desire to remain in the, uh, the glorious Incan Empire. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna homogenize. Is that the correct term here? That's, yes, that is the correct term. What is the intent? Oh, he's got a promotion. He's got his first promotion. Babby's first promotion has arrived. Got him. And got him. Are any of you free? Not till next turn. We it looks like we have three towns to take down. One of them is is wallless. Two of them decent condition walls. One of them, the wall is uh, a little shoddy looking right now. Bandar, we love you. Don't ever forget that. 
Oh, the artifacts also give error scores, so... This is a this is a pretty easy golden age. We are gonna lose the fact that we're in a heroic age right now, so even if we hit this golden age appropriately, which we it looks like we will, there is gonna be a drop off in power levels. Because we had to send a spirit bomb to start off this new era and it, it really drained us. That's what happened. You can't make it across in one go. That's unfortunate. One more point is all we need. That's all we need. There's a, a relic here. It's an antiquity site. Interesting. I'll take it. In general, you should try to take the ones that are, you know, hindering your plans of developing. But I'm okay. I'm okay with this. Shipyard. We always have the opportunity for a plus seven campus over here that's ridiculous but also uh pointless shaka's broadsheet famous relic or uh, antiquity sorry it's not a relic tesla's making my nuclear power plant work at, at optimal capacity Oh, we don't have another shot. Okay, so you, you back yourself up. We need to have this man cross over, so he needs to be... He needs to be down here. We'll have him take a shot at the city just to get some more experience. But he needs to cross over so he can start taking down that other... That other city's defenses soon. It'll be... Quite important. Indeed. These guys have a range of four, by the way. They're not messing around. We don't have another ground troop close enough to walk in here and capture you. One approaches swiftly. We could just turn you into a cavalry and then turn you into a helicopter. I've convinced myself that that's what's happening. Uh, I guess bomb the troop, the battleships that are causing so much menace. What is your level of menace? All right, they've made it to the first rank. Two more to go to get to that juicy, juicy, beautiful life they want to be living. I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm going to walk around here and make your life miserable. I know Terrace Farm isn't uh, necessarily the strongest thing we could have dropped down there. But it is a terrace farm, and we're the Yankins, so, uh, respect it. You, uh, you need to respect it. Nay. I promise I won't spy on you. Raimi was killed! I'm gonna keep spying on him, is, uh, the thing, though. That's what he doesn't see just yet. You guys know, because you're in on the whole plan. We're going to keep stealing his gold. It's juicy. 
This will let you get to size 15, and then, then what will happen? Greatness, hopefully. Let's get you a sewer. And... Then we can commercial hub, like... We'll just do it back here. That's fine. That'll work. Okay, you gotta make it across. You had to do it. To be effective. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. You're gonna be so entirely destroyed the rock volunteers. I like your name, by the way, the rock volunteers. I can appreciate it. Not it's not gonna stop me from destroying you. But it is something I can totally respect. Can you just walk in here and take this? It looks like you're getting it. I could take a shot to guarantee it, but let's just go in. Got it? The infantry is helping us out already. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see. Let's move you guys. The town of Kangala, the bounciest of Pokemon. We can we can just start rocking this dude's world from over here. This will work out beautifully. Can we purchase a ship? Like, uh, I feel like I feel like making love. No, I feel like having a. Destroyer present to try to help us with some of these uh, island hopping conquers. Flood barrier, monument, granary. You got your work cut out for you. Monument, granary, repair. And then, dude, you need housing. I don't. We'll see what happens to you in the in the future. Give me higher levels of success, please. We're going over here to Konya. Okay, we can probably have him ride in next turn from here. So this this looks like a safe conquering location. Which is what I'm looking for from my locations right now. Let's see. You, you can get involved in this conflict. I don't think anyone would blame you even. Give me the loot! We're getting rid of all these apostles. He's looking like he's up to something. And we're not gonna let that, that fly. It's not happening on my watch. Oh yeah, we can we can get our damage or our, our kills heal us. Satellite. We can invest in that. I think you have to be the one to invest in it, though, right? Yeah. The War Department. Once you finish that uh, commercial hub, you start on the War Department. You know what? Even though I like your commercial hub you're laying down. Let me start over here. Actually, let me start by making sure that this thing does not get flooded. first before we do anything somebody could be working on the manhattan project 
Who would who would be down for such a task? Would it be our capital? Would they be down for such a task? I think they would. So let's get them started there. You get your market. You're gonna need a little more housing in the future if you want to grow like one of the big boys. To live it up. Live the ink and dream. Oh, look at it. It's all like clockwork. Confusing and repetitive. Is that what you think of clocks? I don't know. Maybe. Rebellion in four turns, so they're gonna flip over. We don't need to go conquer them. It'll all happen in due time. And then in 21 turns, hopefully we get this Golden Gate Bridge. Look, we could cross right, a, right along here. I thought this might have been a bigger island, or, you know, segment over here, but it's still useful. It'll be very handy for uh, the people of our great nation to be able to be able to traverse the the area just a little easier. Another clock. The game's trying to tell me something right now. What are you thinking? What's your thought process out there that got you into this situation? Kangala, you are hosed. Got him. Keep the city, of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, and then we can free Kumasi as our final great deed, maybe, against the Zulu people. That could be our, our final... Our final action. Panama Canal. Completing in eight turns. Amazing. Incredible. We will be the champions of this world. Repair. Monument. Yeah, just go go to go through the list, man. Just just follow the check the checkbook. Not the checkbook, the checklist. You can follow the checkbook too. That that comes in handy at every once in a while. But that's not what I intended. So you guys can fire from here and here on on them or from here and here and not be getting shot at. So I will move my drone one tile forward. I'll bring my helicopter to say, hey. Get out of here. Oh. The ship still... It yet lives. I could send the bomber after it, but that... I just feel like that's it, uh, in bad taste. It leaves... A bad taste in my mouth. Get the island bomber out here. What bombs at islands? Alright, moving on to the next turn. One more turn until we're back in a golden age. Dropped. It is a downgrade, like I've said, from heroic to, to golden. And what was that noise? Who... Who has changed sides? Dude, Auckland. Weren't they my friends? Weren't they... a part of the plan? I think they were. I don't know, let's get you a sewer. Let's get you a builder. Infrastructure, my friends. Infrastructure. It works. 
There's plenty of opportunity for infrastructure in infrastructure down here. Look at all the wrecked stuff that's happened. Some of it was definitely my fault. Some of it was actually not, though. I take credit where credit is due, and I I don't think I don't deserve it this time. For, not for all of it, at least. Oh, uh, you could run up here. Eventually. The game said you could do it, but... The game lies to me a lot. I just noticed that we're running up on a little over 40 minutes right now, so... Take my shots at the wall, and then let's take a look at the scoreboard and wrap this thing up. 618.5 science per turn. We're doing good things there. Ottomans are at 285.5. 22.2 for the Zulu, 214.3 for Norway, 155.4 for Sweden, and of course 169.7 for Phoenicia. So we're ahead by over 300 science per turn. We're more than doubling the Ottomans, and they're, they're in second place. As far as science is concerned, we are crushing it. 325 culture per turn. Uh, Sweden's at 146, 201 for the Ottomans, 11 for the Zulu, 159 for Norway, and 113 for Phoenicia. Score, we're up to 1925. We're about to flip Kumasi and take that away from Shaka. I think that's probably his last city, but it might not be. So, in a mere turn or two, we're going to gain an ally, and Shaka might disappear from the charts entirely. Harald's uh, creeping up to that four-digit barrier right there. He's at 974 right now. He's trying. He's trying to make some uh, make some moves out here. It's a difficult place to make moves, though. You got to be ready um, for anything. And by anything, it, you need to be ready for me to come destroy you, because that's what's going to happen. Christina's at 12 of 20. So she hasn't moved at all. We're rolling up on an another session in uh, 12 turns. So she'll have an opportunity to make some more there, but we're going to downvote her as well. Uh, the best she can do is a positive, or a net of negative one, probably. Unless the rest of the AI doesn't vote for her, which is possible. I don't know when they start teaming up on people for it, but she's definitely on the cusp of that. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Kumasi, we're coming to free you. I hope you're ready. And uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, consider hitting the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.